This is what Jesus told the people in a well-known sermon he gave on a mountain. If you want to talk to God, look for a place where you can be alone with him. Don't speak in big religious words like people who don't really know God. He is not impressed by that and will not hear you more if you sound spiritual. <laughs> no, <laughs> he is your father and he knows what you need. With him, you can be totally honest. If you do need help on how to pray, here is what you can say. Our Father in heaven, you shall be honored. Do what is best, and do on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us everything we need today, and forgive us for what we have done wrong. Help us to forgive the people that have done something bad to us, and protect us from being tested, and keep us safe from all evil. If you forgive others, God will also forgive you. If you are not willing to forgive others, God will not forgive you. This is Sam and Henry. Sam and Henry are good friends. One night, Sam has unexpected visitors. He wants to offer them some food. Sadly, his fridge is almost empty. So Sam goes over to Henry and asks him for some bread for his guest. Henry is a little confused because of his late visitor, but is happy to give Sam some bread because they are friends. Jesus told this story to show his listeners that God will give us what we ask from him because he is our friend. Ask for something and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who searches will find. Everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Would anyone give their children a stone if they asked for bread? Would anyone give their children a snake if they asked for a fish? If you give your children what they ask for even though you are selfish, how much more will your heavenly Father give you when you ask? Remember, treat everyone how you would want to be treated. Jesus often freed people from evil spirits. Some people accused him of this, you can only drive out these spirits because you have a much stronger evil spirit within you that they have to obey. If evil spirits drove out other evil spirits, what would that achieve? It's like leaders of a country fighting each other. That can't last long. Eventually, they have to work together or their whole country won't work and will eventually fall apart. No, only God himself has the power to drive out these spirits, and I get this power from him. Jesus told the crowds that they were wicked for asking for a sign and would only get the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah was assigned to Nineveh, Jesus would be assigned to them. He said the Queen of the South and the people of Nineveh would condemn this generation at judgment because they responded to less significant signs, while Jesus, greater than Solomon and Jonah, was among them. Does anyone put a lamp under a bucket? No. You put it in a place where it gives light to the whole room. That's how your light is supposed to shine for everyone to see. By your good deeds, they will get to know your Father in heaven. Jesus criticized the Pharisees for focusing on outward appearances while neglecting inner purity and justice. He rebuked them for their hypocrisy, love of status, and for burdening people with rules without helping them. He also condemned the experts in the law for blocking others from understanding God's truth and for their role in persecuting prophets. The Pharisees and law experts then began to fiercely oppose Jesus and question him to find fault. 